And now the news. A routine trip to the laundry on July 13 turned tragic for a family of eight who narrowly escaped the sting of death after a vehicle driven by Aubrey Daniels slid, then rolled over a ridge in the Pocket Pond area. 53-year-old Aubrey and his wife Kishmet Daniels and six children were in the vehicle at the time. The children range in ages 11 months to 12 years old. All occupants of the vehicle sustained scrapes and bruises except for a four-year-old who was reportedly untouched. However, a nine-year-old boy was knocked unconscious after sustaining a laceration to his head. My body in a lot of pain, my finger, my head, my knee, everything. My concern about myself, I concern about my kids. And I'm glad to see the doctors have done their best and they went over and beyond and revive my son and my son in there now moving and and talking so he was not unconscious yes and they had him on the uh, machine but now them take him off the machine in icu and my husband complaining about his chest and his his hand wow. and i just concerned because he have a bullet in his spinal cord so I, they don't tell us already anyhow it moved he could be paralyzed Aubrey Daniels, who sustained chest injuries and a broken shoulder, now has to undergo a magnetic resonance imaging or MRI scan. Persons who arrived quickly on the scene of the accident to assist the family say the 11-month-old baby girl was flung from the vehicle as it rolled down the hill, but she did not sustain any major injury. The presence of sewage and moss on the sections of the road, and particularly in the area where Daniels' vehicle slid, is being blamed for the accident. While we're reaching almost the bottom, where, where the slime is, the jeep just keep going down. And when he tried to make the right turn to turn right, the jeep keep going left. And it creep up on the little sidewalk, and I just hear when he say, ah! And then I start to just see it going, flipping, and then I start to hear the children screaming and seeing bush. So I see children, bush, children, bush. And my husband keeps saying, baby, where's Shai Shai, which is the baby? I ain't see her when I look. And then when we end up on the bottom, and I was standing up because I put my two foot them to brace myself so I don't smash my chair in them. So when we reach the bottom, I start to see a lot of people. And then I start to look up in the hills. And I'm looking for my children to see if I see them up in the hill. Then I see she creeping out and the other one creeping out. And I hear the boys them screaming to get out. So when I realized the seat belt on, I started to push my hand down to relieve them, but it was kind of jammed. It, it come out, but it ain't coming up. So when when the lady pulled me up, I look and I see a woman with my baby in her hand. And I look up and I see where we come from. And when I went wrong, I see my son on the ground lying with a big gash in his head and he had the eyes swollen. And a boy who come and help us, he and his brother Cleo Foster Williams and Craig Williams, they grab up, they grab up my son and we jump in and we just head for town. And we call the ambulance to come down. Somebody call the ambulance to come down for my husband. And we head up here. Kishmet Daniel says guardrails should be installed in the area to make the road safe for motorists. She told JTV News that her family is very grateful to Najiko Insurances and Managing Director Sean Mohammed, who has agreed to cover the expenses for the MRI scan for her husband. Kishma Daniels also extended appreciation to medical doctor Craig Stout for the speedy recovery of her nine-year-old son.